Hi there, this is Marty from OwingsArt.com. That's O-W-I-N-G-S-A-R-T.com. Thanks for stopping by today as we take a look at these Faber-Castell Pitt Artist Pens. This is, uh, the one here is the white. It's a big one. Uh, that's uh, got a lot of ink in it. It's got that round um, tip on it, but it's really for heavy-duty uh, blocking out of whites or whatever. But we're going to take a, a more closer and detailed look at these finer-tipped brush markers right here. And there's 58 or 60 in the entire line, and they're sold in different packages or, or, or sets of 6 or 12 or 36 or so on. But... Um, they come in these kind of themed packages. So here's the skin tones package, and you can see they're marked with a B on the end for brush. But um, those are the colors you get in the skin tone package. And Faber Castell markets these this way. And I think, well, you can find them online at, say, an online retailer like Blick or any other one for about 10 or 11 bucks, 10 to 15 bucks a set, which is not too bad. But one of the drawbacks with the Faber Castell. Uh, pit is that unlike the Copic or some other types, you can, they're not disposable. You can't replace, or they are disposable. You cannot replace the ink, so there's no cartridge that you can replace the ink with. But they come in these neat themes, and if you're interested, there's a manga theme too. So if you're that kind of artist, you can pick up uh, th that set pretty inexpensively. Um, I also bought some individual um, finer tipped uh, markers. So this is more like a Copic Multiliner SP. This one I'm holding here. It's got the M on it for medium. And you can see the tip is like a 0.7 millimeter um, ink tip, and these are very nice to use. They the ink goes down smoothly, and they just they're just uh, a really deep dark black. You can see the M for medium uh, point on the tip there. But really here to take a quick uh, or a very much closer look at these brush tipped markers, and you can see this is a pretty fine tipped marker, uh, but the brush works well. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to take a look at each one of these pens and kind of lay down the color on a piece of paper so that you can see how well they perform. I'll try to do some blending because uh, these are water-based. Um, there's, there's a water-based marker, so you should be able to blend them. I've got a blender. Uh, it's actually a Prismacolor blender, but I use it to do a little blending with the uh, Copics uh, and, and these as well because they're far more inexpensive than the blenders you can buy from either Copic or Faber-Castell. So I was just kind of showing you the difference in the two tips, this fine and um, the medium-tipped uh, standard um, pens. And these aren't just for, like, art. I mean, you could actually use these on, you know, for work or school or whatever. They're kind of cool. And like I said, the ink is really, really dark and deep for the, for the blacks. So um, I think what I'll do here is we'll take a look. Again, I'll just lay down the, the colors and we'll take a look at these one at a time. So there you can see they're all kind of collected together here. But the, I think it's cool the way Faber-Castell marks the end of these so that you know uh, if you set them in a big cup or something, you know what you're dealing with. So I'll start by opening up this Shades of Grey uh, pack that... Uh, that I got. Now there's six pens in the pack and they come in various shades. There's a cool gray, warm grays, um, and they're all pretty spectacular actually. But they're all brush tipped. So um, you can see this is a warm gray right here and they're all numbered and everything. So I'll start with the warm grays and gradually get to the cools. You can see there. And I'm going to just try to blend them here manually back and forth. Um, so Faber-Castell, like with their pencils, they have a numbering system for all their colors. So if you ever, you're ever curious. But I like that they mark the name on the pen itself as well. That's very helpful. In the final analysis, I just like to pick up a pen and look at it, not have to go to a color chart uh, to try to figure out what color it is. So very happy about that. Thank you, Faber-Castell. Next, I'm going to try out the six uh, blue shades of blue. So, um, we'll see what they're like. And they come in these handy little packets, you know, although I find that it's kind of bothersome to take them in and out. So, I just kind of stick them all together. Um, kind of list the colors so if you never need to put them back, you can. 
But here, again, I'm just going to number them, and you can see the color here. It's pretty good. So I think I'll take a look at the rest of the sets here all at once. Well, I'll put down the color, and then I'll blend some. We'll go through it and fast forward, so um, it won't, uh, you won't have to wait through all of that time. But you can see the color go down, and then you'll see how the, blender, the blending works with these, which is actually pretty extraordinary. What I'm going to do here is blend these colors and you can see how they sort of all blend in here and I'm just using that, I was just using that, uh, that inexpensive uh, Prismacolor blender here. And then I'll blend the rest of these. I'll do the same thing and I'll, I'll blend and show you how that works. So I guess the, the pros of these are that they're really nice. Uh, the ink is great. It's water-based. It's, it's permanent. It's very light fast. Um, they're made in Germany, so they're probably, the quality control there is probably excellent. As with most Faber-Castell products, uh, I'm hardly ever disappointed by the quality. Um, one thing that I noticed as a con was I got some paper graining as I worked uh, the markers into the paper. If I did some layering or whatever the paper gets wet enough and then you get these little paper grain kind of comes up off the paper and that can have as much to do frankly with the paper quality as it does the marker itself so I'm not going to hold that against Faber-Castell but um, but that's something to look out for when you're using these. One other note you'll notice on each one of the pens there's little tiny asterisks and what those asterisks mean if there's three four five asterisks the more asterisks the more light fast the color is going to be so the longer it's going to persevere or hold up over time in the light. So just be aware of that as well. Otherwise, two big thumbs up to Faber-Castell for producing yet another outstanding product. Well, thanks for stopping by today. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Leave me a question or note. I always respond as quickly as possible and uh, just appreciate you stopping by. Have a great day. So long, everybody.